About court time. Bring in the prisoner. You're looking at one, Sheriff Henry, who's not afraid to bring Billy the Kid into court and put him away for keeps. I suppose it doesn't matter. I had nothing to do with that express company holdup. No, that's for the court to decide. Uh-huh. His letter came for you. Dear Billy, Slade brothers are here in sundown. They've done right well for themselves since they framed that holdup on you over in Texas. I don't know what to do about it. They're too tough for me to handle. Fuzzy. Sheriff, I'm afraid you're going to have to postpone your trial. Postpone the trial? Why? To give me a chance to bring the men to you that are guilty of the holdup. <laughs> Did you think that letter would fool me? <laughs> Trouble, Vic. There's no sense in getting a town all stirred up over unnecessary killings. All right, Mort. I just like to keep in practice, that's all. Well, practice on jackrabbits for a while. They forgot to give me an invite to their law and order powwow. Well, I think I'll drop in anyhow. I'll go with you. No, you stay with Vic. Your tongue and brain ever have got acquainted with each other. That brother of yours seems to think you talk too much. Anybody by in. Anyone who favors law enforcement is welcome. That's me. I'll shout for law enforcement until I'm black in the face. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm sorry. It was just an accident. Well, Julie, you won't be an accident. Shucks, I have no steam engine. <laughs> 
Oh, Miss Joan, I want you to meet my friend, William Barney. How do you do? I'm very happy. William Barney? Are you Billy the Kid? Yes, ma'am, that's what they call me. Then you'd better travel on. You're not welcome in sundown. Well, shush, you've got no right to feel that way about him. The reputation of Billy the Kid is very well known. I'll be forced to change my opinion of you if that's the kind of friends you have. There are too many of your kind here already. The decent people of this town have decided to clean up all of you gunslinging desperados. That's a good idea, ma'am. I hope to be of some help along that line. We'll get along very well without any help from you. You're sure unpopular with her. <laughs> I think I'll live through it. Come on, Fuzz, let's circulate. See how things stack up. Let's have no doubt about the fact that we mean business and we'll see that the law is respected. Right, Your Honor? Thank you. Thank you. Did you want to see me about something? Yeah. I've got some spare cash I'd like to invest. I thought I'd buy the mortgage, the bank holes on the corner outfit. It's not for sale. Why not? The outfit's nearly broke. I bet he don't even keep up the interest. The rustlers have hit Jim Carter pretty bad, but he'll get on his feet in time. What's that to you? Are you in business for your health? Not at all, but that doesn't keep me from helping a friend. I want that mortgage. I'll pay you a good profit on the deal. It's not for sale. Well, my money's good, and I've got plenty of it. I don't need it. Uh, you may think different someday. How does it happen you're so well off when everyone else is being rustled poor? Well, I owe my success to thrift and industry. And knowing when to grab a good opportunity. Hey, I'm not in the habit of begging anyone to do me a favor. You'll learn that it pays to be agreeable, Ainsley. Come on in, suckers, and get your feet wet. Yeah, I'll bite once. All right. I thought they had you on ice over in Texas. Since when did you learn how to think? Meaning what? Framing your hold up on me didn't show good sense. That's a lie. Stranger, or get out of town. He asked for it. I'd like to be obliging. I'll break his neck. Take it easy, Tom. You don't seem to realize that you're talking to Billy the Kid. Huh? Billy the Kid? Hey, you're wanted by the law. Not in this state, Sheriff. So take it easy. Yeah, you better watch your step. 
I'll grab you the first false move you make. It's okay with me, provided you treat everybody the same. Yeah. Anybody say that I don't? I've heard rumors. I'll see you later. Come on, Fuzzy, let's get out of here. <laughs> you started him on its buzz. I want to smoke him out in the open. Can't get at him through the law. I'll put him into making a false move. Why did he come here? Do you suppose he's... Never mind supposing anything. He made the biggest mistake of his life. No more killing, Mort. I'm up for re-election pretty soon. Don't worry about election. I'll take care of that. He's really acting stubborn about that mortgage. But go ahead as we had planned. Fuzzy. How'd the slaves make all their money? No, they started buying mortgages on outfits that were being rustled poor. Then they poured those on them, and as soon as they did, those outfits started making money. Um, the answer isn't very hard to guess. Well, other people have had that idea, but no one's ever been able to prove anything on them. Maybe no one's ever worked hard enough at the job. I think I'll have a whirl of it. Outfit sees us snooping around. We're going to be. Uh oh, behind. there's some of them right now. Yeah, looks like they've been swapping lead with somebody. Let's trail them. See what we can find out. What happened? Comanche stopped when it hit bad. I'll go get the doctor. You'll do nothing of the kind. We'll do all we can for him right here. But we're not expending any gunshot wounds at a time like this. Vic, get some hot water. You stay with the horses. I'm going to sneak up to the house. Ah, don't be crazy. You'll get your head shot off. Now I'll borrow yours. Yeah, I'll do it. The boys took the herd up in Box Canyon and threw them in with the other bunch. 
You'll have a nice bunch of cattle to bring back when we foreclose on the corner outfit and own that brand. Suppose Ainsley keeps on being bullheaded and won't sell us that mortgage. Ainsley will break his neck to be agreeable before I finish with him. Well, the umbrella that shot Comanche won't shoot nobody else. Like we lost him. Yeah, I told you that was a hair trigger outfit. They shoot first, then ask you what you want. Did you learn anything? Yeah, John Ainsley's headed for a run-in with the Slade brothers. Mm, you can say that about most anybody in Sundown. This is something special. Ainsley owns a mortgage they want. <laughs> Looks like they gave us the slip. Now listen, Vic. Get rid of Billy the Kid. I don't care how you do it, but do it fast. He's on his way out right now. What's the matter, Dad? You look worried. I am. Jim Carter just lost another herd, and every one of his crew was killed. This country is overrun with rustlers, gunfighters, and riffraff of every kind. They've got to be cleaned out. You John Ainsley? I am. What can I do for you? Me? Nothing at all. But I might be of some help to you. You're in for a lot of serious trouble with Mort Slade and his outfit. You've got a mortgage he wants. Dad, this man is Billy the Kid. You're the kind we don't want around here. You'll save yourself trouble by getting out of town. Miss Dainsley, I've gone out of my way to bring you a friendly warning. You can take it or leave it. It's not my funeral. Get out of town. Hey, Mort, you ain't fixing for another killing, are you? Not at a time like this. Why don't you wait till after election? You do as you're told. I'll take care of the election. Now, come on, get out of town. Hey, there he is. Go do your stuff. Leave it to me. I'll start the ball rolling.
You act as though you thought this town wasn't big enough for the two of us. You can't stand your own feet. It is overcrowded. You're trying to build up a reputation for being tough, aren't you? Think so? Yeah. And I'm calling for a showdown. Now, you be out of town within an hour, or the next time you see me, start reaching. Tell your boss I'd rather do business with him in person. Well, I'm warning you. Get out of town. That's all the talking I'm going to do. All right, if that's the way you want it. Some folks learn sense the hard way, don't they? You know, I ain't looking for trouble. But I ain't gonna be shoved around by nobody. Mind if I come in? Come on in and sit a while. Oh! I said... Have you known Billy the Kid long? You know him ever since he was a pup. Is he what they say he is? Killer? <laughs> He's as gentle as a lamb. And I let him alone. Wouldn't harm a fly. Unless it doesn't. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Sorry, I didn't know you had company. Now, come on in. Now, just tell her what a peaceable man you are. I hate to make you out a liar, Fuzzy. What do you mean? Vic Landro just asked for a gunfight. I'm afraid I'm going to have to oblige. Well, uh, shooting it out with him won't be no Sunday school picnic, even if they give you a fair break. Which I don't think they will. Are you going to have a gunfight with Vic Landro? That's the way it looks right now. You certainly had me fooled. I thought you might want the respect of law-abiding people. Why do you blame me for all this trouble? Doesn't make any difference who's to blame. You've no right to take the law into your own hands. Anyone who sets out deliberately to kill a man is a murderer. And it's time the law made an example of someone. Ain't women peculiar? Yeah. Hi, Vic. Hey, I hear you had trouble with Billy the Kid. Yeah, he was trying to show how tough he was, but telling me to get out of town. Well, don't you think you ought to get started? Well, now, don't hold your breath till you see me leaving. <laughs> All right, guys, let's have a drink. Oh, sit down, Fuzzy. You're as fidgety as an old cat. Hey, who is fidgety? I'm as calm as a cucumber. Look at that. <laughs> don't, don't it, Billy? This land rule is mighty fast on the trigger. He's laid away some top-notch fighting men. I had an idea he knew something about a gun. More Slade had never hired a gunfighter just because he had blue eyes and curly hair. Oh, why don't you sit down? Got nearly an hour to kill. Uh -huh. ah! Ah! <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> I won't sit on those anymore. I'll tell you that. Oh, I'm glad I found you. Come back to town with me right away. Oh, no. No, ma'am. I can't do that. I got important business. Is it more important than stopping a murder? Who's murdering who? Does that make any difference? Or is there some reason why you don't want to go back to town? Oh, no, of course not. Well, come on, then. <laughs> you can't afford to walk off all that weight, Fuzzy. Stay here, Tom. When Billy the Kid goes for it, let him have it. Can't you travel any faster? Well, I'm doing the best I can. My horse is tired.
Don't worry. Tom will get him before he has a chance to pull a trigger. Take it easy, Shorty. Keep your hand away from that gun if you want to use it to eat with. Now get it. Stepping on your toes, why don't you do something about it yourself? If you came here looking for trouble, we'll try to see that you're not... We're sick and tired of having you gunfighters act as if you owned this town. It's time you learn to respect the law. All right, Sheriff. You better do your duty. I'm arresting you for this killing. Hey, since when is it a crime to fight in self-defense? The court will decide whether it was self-defense or not. Yeah. What are you packing that rifle for? I have a good mind to arrest you as an accomplice. Yeah, don't flatter yourself. If you had a good mind, you wouldn't act the way you do. Let it go, Fuzzy. Proud this sheriff won't do any good. Maybe so, but it gives me a heap of satisfaction. I'll thank you for your gun. Don't know. mind about selling me that Carter mortgage? You might as well forget about that. It's not for sale. You may feel different someday.
the matter with him? Well, I think he's got asthma. I'd like to sleep with his head out the window. Hurry it up, you boys. Can't stay here all night. Take a peek outside. Looks like the coast is clear. you to hide out in the hills. They won't be looking for you here in town. That sounded like a check from the bank. I think I'll have a look. Hey, come back here. You're not supposed to be rolling around. Dead rat. Why don't he use common sense? I... You act like you ain't quite bright. Did anybody ever drop you on your head when you was a baby? <laughs> no, not that I can remember. So, did you recognize any of that gang? No, it's too dark. They moved too fast. Tell you the kid busted out of jail. We know that. He helped rob the bank. Well, he won't get far if I have anything to do with it. Somebody's been fooling around here last night with a can opener. Gosh, I, I hope Ainsley can dig up enough cash to pay off. I've got money in here. This has hit us pretty hard, but there's nothing to worry about. I can raise enough cash to carry on regular business. visitors last night. Uh, looks like they played kind of rough. Did you have anything important to talk about? You had a chance to do me a favor. Waste of breath asking me to go I out. ain't asking you anything. I'm telling you now. If this robbery crippled you, I'll finish the job. I'll bust this bank and take what I want out of the wreckage. That may be easier said than done. I don't think so. I'll thank you for the money I got on deposit here. This happens to be Sunday. The bank is not open for business. Oh, that's so. Well, I'll wait till Monday. Dad, do you think he can cause us any trouble? If he can stampede folks into starting a run in the bank, I don't know of anything that can save us. Hey, Fuzzy. Hmm? This stuff is pretty dry. Why don't you go to the restaurant and get a pot of coffee, huh? Chance making anybody suspicious. But I suppose you keep on complaining if I don't. And, uh, Fuzzy. Stick a steak in your pocket, will you? Uh, how you want with mushrooms or fries? Man? <laughs> now, what do you think of your friend, Billy the Kid? Well, any reason to think any different than, than I always thought. <laughs> Even if he robbed the bank last night and nearly killed Ann Foster? Billy didn't rob the bank. He was seen near there. Dan almost captured him. Look, Fuzzy, even if he is a friend of yours, will you help me get the money back? I'm not asking all my dad's account. I'm just thinking of all those poor people who lose everything if the bank fails. But I'm telling you, Billy had nothing to do with robbing the bank. I admire your loyalty, but haven't you any pity for that old couple that have the homestead on the Mesa? They've worked awfully hard to save a little money. They haven't time to start over again.
I wonder what would happen if I would call to the people on the street and tell them that Billy the Kid was hiding in here. If they found him here, they wouldn't be very gentle with you. That bank robbery last night aroused a lot of public indignation. If there's anyone in the crowd that you're fond of, tell them not to be the first one through that door. Just a minute. I suppose it doesn't do any good telling you that I had nothing to do with that robbery. We agree on that point. I have an idea where that money is, though. And you won't get any help from the sheriff. I'll make a deal with you. What kind of a deal? Leave Fuzzy out of this and then give me till tomorrow morning. I'll come back then whether I have the money or not. Then you can do as you want. Hey, don't make any foolish deals on my account. I'm hoping to kill two birds with one stone, Fuzzy. Well, what do you say? All right. I'll trust you, but I'll expect to see you in the morning. You will. You're sure ambitious. How are you going to have that money by tomorrow morning? Well, we won't find it sitting around here. Now go saddle my horse. Are you local? Why, they'd have you full of holes the minute you stuck your nose out that door. Maybe not. Now go on, bud. Saddle my horse. All right. My God, if I live through this, I'll die a surprise. It means nothing to me one way or the other. I'm just trying to give you some friendly advice. If you want to save what money you've got in the bank, you better throw it out the first thing in the morning. We all know that Ainsley why he's carrying a lot of mortgages that'll never pay off. And he can't raise enough cash to grease a skillet. Bank is bound to fold up. I think you're right, Mark. Get out of my way, Red Skinner. I'll break you up. Billy the Kid, he's been hiding in town. He's getting away. Can't stop and visit with the sheriff. There's the man we want. Looks like we're going to the Slade Ranch for the way of Omaha. Well, we'd never lose them bloodhounds. Yeah. Hey, I'm tired. Why don't we bed down here for the night? Huh? We've got time. A long way from the Slade Ranch.
Dad should be back by now. I hope he was able to raise enough money. I don't know. Not a one of you people can afford to lose that money. I don't know. I don't know. Here he is now. start shooting on that hill over there. They might ride out to investigate. I don't care for anything fancy in the way of a funeral, so here goes. Well, we've got this whole country buffaloed. Nobody wants to tangle with this outfit. Seem like them shots come from this direction. Well, I'm going back to the house. You fellas keep looking for that gun toting jackrabbit. Find what you're looking for? Yeah. Get your hands up. You don't think I'll fall for that, do you? Pick that money up and bring it over here. Thank you. 
Let's open up. Nice work, buddy. Grab yourself a chair and make yourself at home. Never mind that. Did you find the mic? Yeah. yeah. Well, come on, let's get out of here. This ain't a healthy place to hang around. Maybe you're right. Come on, Tom, you're going bye-bye with us. you want so you won't fall off and hurt yourself. until you have to. You might think I'm foolish, but I have a feeling we can trust Billy the kid. best to keep law and order in this community.
Better get yourself a new chair there, Sheriff. That one keeps throwing you. I'm arresting you, Billy the Kid. Now, take it easy, take it easy. I got a new prisoner for you, Fuzzy. Bring him on in. Yeah, and you got the right one this time. You better lock him up, Sheriff. Then you can read his confession. All right. Step this way. That was part of my bad reputation. Yeah, the lawman asked for your help instead of trying to run you ragged. They showed some horse sense. Anyway, they see themselves a lot of hard bucks. 